guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I am back today with yet another sewing project and this one I am really excited about. I think it turned out really nicely and I'm very pleased with it. So for this dress that I'll be making today, I was inspired by the brand Rouge and Rouge is a French clothing company if you're not familiar with it, but they have such beautiful, unique kind of like vintage inspired styles. And I particularly love their dresses. I think they look very reminiscent of the 1940s and are just really beautiful. So I thought today I would try to make a dress kind of inspired by the dresses that they sell. So let me show it to you. This is the dress that I'm making or have made already, but we'll be making here in just a second in YouTube time. And I'm so happy with that. I love how it turned out. So I used a simplicity wrap dress pattern. Let me actually check the number really quickly. I have it on my phone. So to make this dress, I used Simplicity 8637, which is a basic wrap dress pattern, but I made a few alterations to make it a little bit more similar to the styles that Rouge offers. So here is how it looks. I added a button detail here at the front instead of just doing ties, which makes it look a little bit more similar to the styles that Rouge carries. And I also changed the sleeves. So we'll discuss all of that here in just a second. The fabric that I used is from fabric.com and it's a ditzy floral print, which I think is really similar to the different styles that Rouge usually carries. They're usually really small prints like polka dots or florals so I thought this was perfect this is a rayon chalice and it was super affordable but it's actually really really nice it's very soft and very good quality it was really nice to sew on so I would highly recommend this fabric they carried it in a few different prints so I'll have that linked down below in case you guys are looking for some good fabric I'm very impressed so that is the dress that I'm going to be making today so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in to the project So before I get started cutting the dress out, the first thing I'm going to do is make an alteration to the sleeve pattern. Now the sleeve that I've chosen to use comes from Simplicity number 1692. It's a puffy sleeve, but I want to take away the fullness on the bottom and just gather the top. So I'll fold it in half and then put a pin at the one inch marking there to reduce it by two inches. Then I'll just cut it out like this, also extending it by one inch in length. With that alteration made, I can go ahead and start cutting my dress out. So the pieces that I'm using from the pattern are the bodice front and back pieces, as well as the skirt front and back pieces. Those are the only ones that I'm using from this pattern and then the sleeve from the other pattern. I'm also going to make a couple of alterations to the skirt. First of all, I'm lengthening the skirt back to measure to 30 inches all the way around. That's just the length I want my dress to be. So I'm making that alteration. And then also to the front piece, it has this curve here that I want to take away. So to do this, I am just using my back piece to get the length for the 30 inch measurement. And then when I cut the front of the skirt front, that edge, I'll just cut straight down instead of cutting a curve. So it creates more of a rectangle than this curved effect. So with everything cut out, I can now get started sewing. And the first thing to sew are the darts. Now I know I've talked about darts quite a lot on my channel before, so I'm not gonna get into too much detail about these here, but there are two in each of the front pieces as well as two in the back piece. So a lot of darts to sew here. So I'm just going to pin them together and stitch them down with a straight stitch. Since this dress has a V neckline, I'm going to stay stitch that edge. That just means to sew along the edge with wide stitching and it will keep it from stretching out. 
Once my darts are sewn, I'm just going to press those to the side and make sure there's no puckering or anything and everything is looking really neat. So now we can move on to the shoulder seams and to sew these I'm just pinning the dress together at the shoulders with the right sides together and then I'll sew along this edge using a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and also use the serger to remove any excess fabric here and finish off that edge. Once those seams are sewn, I'm going to press the seam towards the back of the dress, and now I can move on to finishing off the neck edge. I decided not to line this dress, so to finish off the neck edge, I'm going to use some bias tape. I won't do a tutorial for bias tape today, but I will link to one down below. So I'm going to open up the bias tape and match up the edge of the bias tape to the edge of the neckline with the right sides together. Then I'll pin this all the way around and sew it down using a one quarter inch seam allowance. So with the bias tape attached, I'm now going to turn it towards the inside of the dress and I'll go ahead and press this down here. Then I'll top stitch all the way around the neckline to secure the bias tape on the inside and this gives a really nice neat edge. Now the original dresses from Rouge tend to have this little waist tie detail, so I'm going to make two little ties using this bias tape that I had left. So what I'm going to do is fold my bias tape in half and press it down, and then I'll top stitch along the length of the bias tape. I'm also going to fold up the lower edge of the bias tape twice to hem it and just create a nice edge for that tie. Next I'm going to sew the side seams and this is also how I'll attach those two ties to the dress. So those will go in between the two layers of the side seam. So I'm placing the fabric with the right sides together and then I'll pin all along this edge making sure that my tie is encased between the two layers. I have mine placed one and a half inches up from the bottom. Then I'll sew this down with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and also serge off the edge. So now I'm going to move on to the sleeve and the first thing I'm going to do here is serge the bottom edge and then also add two rows of gathering stitches to the top here. Next I'm going to sew the side seams, so I'm just pinning the sleeve with the right sides together and I will sew this down with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and serge off any excess fabric. Now I can hem my sleeve, so I'm just turning this up about a half an inch here and stitching this down with a straight stitch. I'm almost done with the sleeves here, I'm just going to pull out my gathering stitches and really concentrate the gathers towards the center of the sleeve. Then I can add the sleeve to the armhole, pinning the right sides together and adjusting the gathers to fit the armhole here. Then I'll just sew this down with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and serge off the edge. So with 
the bot is complete, I'm now moving on to the skirt. And the first thing I'm going to do here is sew the side seams. So I'm pinning my skirt front pieces to the back at the side seams, and then I'll just sew this down with a 5 8 7 inch seam allowance and use the serger to finish off the edge. Next I'm going to hem the front edges of the skirt since this is a wrap style. So I'm folding this up a quarter of an inch two times and then I will just top stitch all the way across. So now I can put the dress together. So I am pinning the bodice to the skirt with the right sides together, matching up the side seams, and then I'll just stitch all the way across this and also finish off the edge and then press that seam up towards the bodice. Next, I'm going to hem the bottom of the skirt just as I did the sides of the skirt. So just folding this up a quarter of an inch two times. The dress is now constructed and it's time to add the buttons. So I went ahead and tried the dress on just to check where it would overlap best and fit me best. And then now I'm going to mark where the buttons and buttonholes should go. I'm using five buttons because that's what it looked like the dresses on the Rouge website had used. So I'm just sewing my buttonholes and then I will use a needle and thread to sew all of my buttons on by hand. Then just to make sure the wrap is really secure on the interior, I'm going to use a snap. So I'm sewing that to the interior side seam and also the under layer of the wrap around, and that just keeps everything in place. So here is how the dress turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it definitely captures the kind of essence of the rouge dresses. I feel like my sleeves are a little bit off. So if I were to make it again, I think I would make the sleeves just a tiny bit longer and less puffy at the top, but I do really like it. And I'm definitely looking forward to wearing this dress. It's super comfortable as well. This fabric is so nice. So I'm definitely excited about it. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how this dress came together. I'm really, really happy with it. And I think it's very reminiscent of the styles from Rouge. So I'm pleased with that. And I also think it's going to be a great dress to kind of carry over into early fall. I have a red cashmere cardigan that I think would be super cute with this with a pair of sneakers. So that is a early fall outfit that I think would work really well. But I hope you enjoyed seeing how the dress came together. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and do that by clicking the red button down below. I post a lot of sewing projects. So if this is what you're into, there will be a lot more coming your way. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. And if you'd like to keep up with me outside of YouTube, Instagram is the place to do that. So I will put my username up here as usual. And you guys can go check me out over there if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel today. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.